right, so what are we going to do with, with Josh here? We need, we need a little help. A little help. So Captain Future is saying, open the door, shoot the zombie, and search. Yeah? All right, Captain Future. We're going with that. Uh, thanks for the quick response. So, first action. He opens the door. Then, he's going to shoot. He's got that submachine gun. So, we're going to have three dice to roll, but I have to get a five or more. Okay, here we go. Okay, this one doesn't count. It didn't land in here. So, we're going to roll that inside of the box. And it was a miss. And, yes, we have a miss. So, the other option there was to shoot, but since we missed, do we want to shoot again? Do we want to do a second shot? I'm seeing lots of suggestions. Let's shoot again. Okay, we're going to do it. Here it comes. There's got to be at least one five here, right? That's where they were hiding <laughs> in his second shot. Okay, so he reloaded. We have to put another noise token on there. But, the nice thing is, this zombie has now been removed, and we're going to put an experience point on him. Now, guys, just, oops, I put one too many on there. You see what this means? We're at a new danger level, okay? So now, the nice thing is, okay, there's a, there's a bonus here. Is it saying, this app is pretty cool. I haven't actually used this in a full playthrough. Um, you get plus one action. So, so now, you can see on here, he has both a slippery ability and an additional action. So what is our last action going to be? So now when we spawn new zombies, we're going to be looking in the yellow zone. Captain Future, don't feel bad. We were going to that yellow zone eventually. It was going to happen. So I'm seeing lots of suggestions to search. Let's do that, guys. Let's do a search. Let's have it not be another zombie, okay? Ooh, interesting, interesting. The rifle. The rifle has made an appearance. So we have... Okay, let me just tell you what the rifle does, in case anyone doesn't know. So it is a noise token when it attacks a zombie, obviously. You cannot shoot within your own space, but you can shoot one space away up to three spaces away. You roll one die, it hits on a 3+, plus, so it's uh, a better than a 50-50 chance of hitting, and it does one damage. And if you can get a scope and put it on there, the, the nice bonus of that is then when you shoot uh, your ranged attack, you can pick your target, because normally when you shoot with a ranged weapon, you can't do that. So th the question is, do, do we want to have it readied, or do we want to put it in, um, in backup? So I'm seeing lots of suggestions we put uh, it in reserve. So... So let's do that. Okay, so we're going to put that in reserve. We bring up the app here. Ranged weapons, um, rifle into reserve. Okay, so that's great. And let's see, that ends Josh's turn. Oh, we're going on to Ned. Okay, so Ned, uh, I don't see a way in which I can't use the free search action. So, so I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to do uh, the search action, because that's for free. I can't screw that up too much. Let's see what he gets. Interesting. Okay, this is the goalie mask. This is a, quite a rare card, actually. It says, damn, it's cool. Discard the goalie mask, and it prevents one wound inflicted to the wearer. So that's, that's kind of interesting. So we're going to put that here. Uh, I think that's probably an item, if I had to guess. Yep, there it is. I'm actually thinking of maybe sending Ned north through the door and then shooting left at that zombie and maybe trying to get rid of that. Uh, and Rebel Mage, look, we're, I just noticed you in the chat, you're saying the same thing as me. So, so let's do that. Uh, we're going to go with Ned. He's going to go bam, bam, and kablam, let's hope. We're going to be rolling two dice. I need a four plus. Come on, Ned. You're born for this. There we go. That's the hit we needed. Ned has got his first experience point, so we'll just put that on there right now. The thing is, once you go into the yellow zone, now it's like balls to the wall with everyone else. You want to be just plowing through zombies and getting that experience, because now we want everyone to get into the yellow zone so they can all unlock their yellow zone special ability. And, of course, we can't forget noise token. So I'm going to put that on Ned right there. Okay, so that, I think that brings us around to the end round. Let me see here. We're going to be um, setting up next. It's going to be uh, Wanda's going to be going first. But first, let's let's have our. Oh man, you know what I just realized, and I'm sure all of you did as well. Um, we are going to be saying goodbye to one of our our characters. Uh, we're going to move some. Well, first of all, zombies attack. And this is wow, what a mess. So these two zombies are going to attack. Let's all have a moment of silence. Um, and unfortunately, the only thing remaining in this space now 
uh, our pair of roller skates. Uh, goodbye, Wanda. Thank you for, for playing. I wish there was a way for us to maybe uh, take her out of the game, but I don't, think, I don't think there is in the app, unfortunately. And so because these zombies have feasted, they're done. They aren't going to be doing anything else. So she sacrificed her life for Doug's. She knew he was having a rough day, so that was, that was kind, kind of her. Um, now, this zombie here is also going to attack, and it's going to attack our pal, Phil, here. And so what happens is you steal. You steal uh, an item, and uh, we're going to get rid of the pan. I'm not even going to bother asking you guys about that. That's, of course, what we want to do. So we're going to take the pan. We're going to drag it. Let's see. Can I drag it? Yeah, over to the trash can here, and it goes away. And then I, uh, here's where you pull the wound cards. We throw those on. So now he's got you know, one less thing that uh, one less space he can use. Now, right now, it goes into the, uh, the front space because that's where the item was that was stolen. But you can shift your wound cards around. So in a later move, if he wants to reorganize as an action, he can do that. Or if he does a trade, he can get a free reorganization. He can move that wound into another space. So that's going to take a wound. And then, of course, this zombie is, is done. And so we just have these guys remaining, and they're going to move to wh what they can see. And they have line of sight, so they're moving there. And that means we can take away... The, uh, the noise tokens. We're gonna just going to take away uh, these noise tokens, and we're going to take, um, well, well, I guess we'll do the spawning, and then I'm going to say we're going to take a little break. Because I just want to double check with the chat room, make sure that uh, no one's confused about anything that we're doing, make sure I haven't forgotten anything. I'm going to remove these noise tokens now, because I, I, for whatever reason, tend to forget that particular action. And let's spawn in some zombies, shall we? The first zombies are going to go here, and we're in the yellow zone, remember. Two regular zombies. And then on the right side, oh, two runners. Two runners are entering the board here. And let's see. At the bottom, in the south. Wow, it's a good thing we're not in the blue zone, in a way, because an abomination <laughs> would have come out. Instead, we have three regulars, three regular walkers. And then over on the left. Oh, this is the worst this is the worst. Um, this one says, just when you thought things couldn't get any worse, all walkers, one extra turn. Okay, so um, let's just uh, go over here to our friend, um, Phil, and we'll see how he's doing. Oh yeah, he has a wound. That's right. Um, so these two zombies here are going to attack. And that means that uh, Phil is also going to be removed from the game. That that's kind of makes me sad. <laughs> I, didn't want, I didn't want him to be removed from the game. Um, what happens if we put another wound in here? Will that remove? No, that doesn't seem to be removing them. Okay, so unfortunately, very unfortunately, we've lost another one of our survivors. Um, okay, so, so now we have to deal with, with these other zombies. So those zombies are done. Done. Uh, these zombies here will move. Uh, actually, wait a second. We're going to have to deal with, with... Oh, you know what? This is where removing the noise tokens in advance was a, was a problem, was a mistake. Um, I think for most of them, it's going to be fine because most of the noise was down this way. So these zombies are for sure going to be moving this way. Uh, let's see. Uh, these zombies here, runners uh, are going to... Well, actually, they can all see into this room. So... They're going to go in like this. Now, here's the nasty thing. The runners will move and then take another activation. So we all know what this means, right? Oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. You're right. You're right, you're right, right. They don't move. They don't move. Sorry, 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 sorry. That was, that was walkers. That was walkers. We're good. We're good. <laughs> okay, I see everyone reminding me of that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're good. We're good. Okay, um... But we've got a couple guys in here with, with Dougie. Uh, now, now we've got, we've got these guys to deal with. And this is where the noise tokens are a bit of a problem. Do you guys remember um, where, where the noise was? <laughs> and, and the issue was, again, moving these guys, um, where they have um, line of sight. I actually have to remind myself of this. I think where they have line of sight, I think they actually... Um, move because they have line of sight to to Ned here, and they have line of sight uh, as well to Doug. So let me just uh, give myself a little reminder here. It says if they see more than one survivor in different zones, they move towards the noisiest group. 
um, which is interesting because, well, I mean, technically, this group is just as noisy as, as this group here, right? So, oh, yeah, yeah, he had shot. That's right. He had fired his gun. Thanks, guys. That's right. So these guys are going to move this way. One person's asking, why don't the runners move? And that's because um, on the card that we pulled that's causing this extra activation, it says it's only walkers that activate. So it's, it's these guys here now that we have to deal with. And um, trying to remember where the noise tokens were over here is, is a bit of my problem. Oh, yes, right. We had all the noise over here, all the noise tokens. And that would have been three noise tokens. So I believe this is correct. And, uh, and this is where we're going to sort of take a little, a little break, a little pause here. So again, lesson learned. Don't remove the noise tokens till the end. That's, and that's why you, you don't do it. So in typical watch it played fashion, I make a mistake. And, and hopefully that <laughs> helps other people learn something from that. And what is it? There is 244 of you guys here. This, yeah, that is crazy. That is so awesome. Uh, I have never played uh, any game with a group that big, a board game. Uh, I'm assuming you guys haven't either. Um, thanks so much. Thanks so much for taking some time out of your day to do this. Um, I know there's, there's, there's kind of a certain amount of awkwardness to the whole process because obviously, um, you know, I, I'm doing things here in real time and then there's, there's a little bit of a uh, delay and then you guys see that and then you're trying to chat with me and I can't have my attention perfectly focused. Um, but, but hey, uh, you know, this is, this is kind of working for me. <laughs> I hope it's kind of working for you guys too. We had a really strong start. I mean, we had a really really strong start. So, so let's take a little break. I'm going to walk away, get myself a drink of water, and, and I'm going to come back. And yeah, I'd love to hear where people are from. Bob Chap's asking that. Go ahead and, and post that in there. Uh, if you guys don't know where I'm from, I'm from Prince Edward Island, um, Montague, Prince Edward Island in Canada. So uh, great to have you guys from all over here with us.